All right, here we are at the Taliswood Condos in Redmond. Um, I'm just gonna do a video, so it'll be intermittent as I give you striping measurements, but primarily it's gonna be yellow curb for the striping. Um, but this is gonna be a seal stripe, 183rd place northeast. Um, by the stop sign there, there's gonna be three crosswalks we'll restripe, but not seal. Um, refer to the email that I forwarded you for the details on that. But first we'll start with uh, the striping. Stalls, white, we have three. 24 HR reserved white. We have four. There's a better shot of it right there. And yeah. Here we All right, so here we are back out on um, 183rd Street. Seal coating is going to include these stalls. We have two more stall lines and uh, three more reserved 24 HR. We're going to include the curb painting. Um, I can't talk. We're going to include the curb paint on this side of the street, but we're not going to include anything across from Taliswood. So, um, just outline in a box, areas of striping. Also, she said she wants three crosswalks here. So, uh, just do crosswalk bars, 12 inch white, five footers all the way across, and I'll find out where she wants them before we do anything. Got a couple more stalls here we'll take a look at real quick while we're here. Let's see if there's any stencils, but there's essentially one stall line between these two bays right here. Um, it doesn't say, I don't see any stencils, but let's put back four reserved 24 HR to be consistent with the rest. And we'll keep going. We're going to quote for this concrete repair too over here. So as of right now, we have 236 feet of yellow curb, and the sidewalk will measure that. 5 by 12 broom finish, one hour root removal. Uh, we do have irrigation heads, we have four of them, kind of on either corner there. So we'll need to be careful and conscious of that. And I found the crosswalks, I lied. So um, figure 50 feet of lineal white, and then I'll count how many lines of five footers that we're going to have real quick. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. Ten at five foot. So figure 100 feet of four inch lineal white per crosswalk. And they're going to be at the aprons here. You can see remnants of this one. We'll do another reserve 24 hour right here. And then we'll get it for the two more concrete ones. So three and four. Everything that has a sign, we'll just put a stencil to keep it consistent. And here's another example of a crosswalk. See going across right there, very faded. So just the three. Um, and then, yeah, this one actually does have the stencil reserved 24 HRS, but we'll put it all back at eight inch. As far as our boundary for the painting here, we're gonna stop it at the joint right by the red post. With the curb painting, this is where it. Me, actually, I lied. We're gonna start right at the curb and gutter where that meets up, where it switches properties to Patterson Park townhomes. So this will be our cutoff right here. Reserve 24 HR. We've got another one right here, and then here we have effectively one stall and one reserve 24 HR stencil. This is on the back of the property, and you can see um, kind of on the right there, the six inch band on the on the rolled curb and gutter. We're just going to count that all as curb painting. Almost done, but stalls one, reserved 24 HR, two, then just working our way back up to that end. Reserved 24 HR, one. Reserve 24 HR, one, I think that's the last one. Our final curb painting from the, the I guess the boundary, is gonna be right at 183rd place northeast right here, and northeast 95th street. And then our final crosswalk is directly in front of us. Going across, you can see the remnants of it. So how I showed you the crosswalks, 
Let me back up and explain it to you a little bit. Is there's coming in off the main road off of Avondale. This is the first entrance. Then there's the second entrance right there and the third entrance over there. So the crosswalks as we looked at it were the second entrance first, third entrance second, and finally the first entrance last. Okay, so one final st stretch of curb and we'll be done. Okay, finally, yellow curb, we have 1,350 feet. Um, as far as curb prep, one hour for every 200 feet will be fine. It's pretty well worn off. Um, I don't think we need to pressure wash this. This is by far the worst section. It's pretty small and isolated as far as moss. Everything else is clean. Got curb and gutter on both sides, so it'll be a really easy, fast seal coat. Um, I like to do this one for one day and just make a note in the bid comments. Um, project is bid for one day. If additional days are required, additional charges will apply or something of that nature. But even though you can see the curb and gutter painting right there throughout within the curb. So there you have it. That is going to be it.